A pair of suspected bank robbers are behind bars after leading Warren police on a high-speed chase. The wild chase ended in this crash, sending two officers and another driver to the hospital. 7-Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has an update on how they're doing today. Thankfully, the two officers are out of the hospital, but the 70-year-old man from Taylor who was injured remains hospitalized, and the two suspected bank robbers locked up. Here's dash cam video of Warren police chasing two suspected bank robbers that ended with not one, but two crashes. First, it appears the scout car closest to the bad guys hits a curb and flips. Two seconds later, the fleeing bank robbers run the red light and crash into a 70-year-old man from Taylor. And here's our first look at the two accused bank robbers. 21-year-old Antonio McLean, who has now been charged with possession of marijuana. And 20-year-old Lamon Moore, he's been charged with fleeing and eluding. Police say Moore was the wheel man who tried to outdrive police. McLean's job, investigators say, was to go into credit unions with a note demanding thousands in cash. He didn't get anything at two credit unions in Warren, but the duo did get away with a lot of cash from a Vibe credit union in Sterling Heights. After that is when they were spotted by Warren police and the chase was on. And then came those two frightening crashes. One left the scout car upside down. Thankfully, officers John Adams and Rick Schnur were able to crawl out, but they did suffer some back and neck injuries. The two suspects were injured, but not too bad, where they couldn't face a judge today. And bond for each suspect has been set at half a million dollars cash or surety. In Warren, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.